Yeah, yeah, y'all come look at this. Some somebody come look at this. Come come have a good look at this. Listen, uh, the headline says LA federal judge orders Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, to serve home detention for making threatening remarks towards an individual while in the company of someone with criminal background. Man, listen. Look at this video right here. For those of y'all who haven't seen it, and we'll talk after the video. Here we go. Where you at? That's it. Got to spin that shit. Them niggas at, nigga. They go Kanye, nigga. No am going shot, man. You know what's up, yeah? We outside. Big two outside, nigga. Big Queens, right? When I first saw this video, I thought to myself, well, goddamn, this must be a promotional stunt. This has got to be a joke. Are you grown? Are you a grown man like 40 years old or somewhere around in the 40s or something like that? What made you think this was okay? Nicki Minaj's net worth as of 2023, according to Forbes, is about $150 million. And we're not talking Jamaican dollars. We're not talking Trinidadian money. We're talking about American dollars. $150 million. You have a wife. You have a child. $150 million strong. And you out in the streets with pulling down hoodies and pulling down the brim of your cap like you locking the block. Like, you know that saying, you could take the ninja out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the ninja. I think this is one of those cases. The article says Nicki Minaj's husband is to serve home detention after offset threats. We're talking about Offset, who is Cardi B's husband. Some kind of beef developed, and Mr. Petty decided to get petty. <laughs> he decided to step out and say what he had to say. The part that it became a threat is when homie said, You busy planning a vacation. We busy planning your funeral, pussy. Ooh, so you planning to kill that man, and you put it on video. And send it out into the world for the whole world to see. First of all, man, before I even read this article, let me say this. The dudes that were standing around with him talking about, yeah, yeah, where you at? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa, you got big zoo outside. You know it's real. You know it's serious. And the money right, too. And the money right, too. Them, them old-ass, grown-ass men that were standing around instigating those are the people we call yes men. 
your wife got a whole lot of money. She let you in the money. So you always good financially. And then you shoot some crumbs to these hangers ons. They quick to jump in front of the camera for you and say all kinds of stuff. I call them Duracell people. They throw that Duracell battery in your back and they get you going and going and going. And then when you crash, they duck out and they laugh behind the scenes. And your grown ass is about to get locked in the house for God knows how long. And now you're in trouble with the law. All that could have been avoided, man. First of all, gangsters move in silence. So you don't actually get on social media in 2023, put a death threat out, and then think it just goes like that. And you don't have to be Nicki Minaj's husband to get in trouble for this. And you don't have to be threatening a famous person like Offset from the Migos, Cardi B's husband, to get in trouble for this. If any citizen in the United States of America or anywhere else gets online and start issuing death threats how you're planning somebody's funeral, that's what cybersecurity is for. You can be found, tracked, found, prosecuted, and imprisoned. Now, given his background, Nicki Minaj's husband's background with the sex allegations and, you know, the case and all that other stuff and the fact that he is on probation, you would have thought that a grown man would have thought twice before doing all that and not do it. And them grown ass people that were around him in the video, you would have thought they could have been like, yo, Zoo, listen, this ain't the right move, homie. If we're going to get at dude, let's get at him low. Let's get at him at another time in another way. Not like this. Nobody could have talked some sense into him. I'm sure after Nikki saw this, I'm sure she probably had nothing to do with this at all. And I'm sure after she seen it, she rolled her eyes, dropped her head, and she was like, here we effing go again. Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty's recent beef with Offset is beginning to backfire on him. Now, last weekend, he called out Offset and wanted to confront him while he was with his little crew or few friends. At the time, Offset was supposedly in New York City. But when Mr. Petty and his crew believed to know where he was, Offset was actually on a private jet somewhere. <laughs> and Offset did give a response. And the response was a video response of Offset jumping off of a private jet and getting into a luxury car. And he was like, ha! These ninjas standing on a corner somewhere. They broke. We hopping off jets. Mm. It's to show you a different mindset. Right? Now, here we go. They about to lock you in the house like a little kid. Meanwhile, a L.A. federal judge has just ordered Nicki Minaj's husband, Mr. Petty, to serve up to 120 days locked in the house on home detention for making threatening remarks towards a specific individual while in the company of someone with a criminal record. This is information that was given out per legal reporter, Megan Kuniff. Megan Kuniff is the same lady with the thick glasses that uh, she went to Tory Lane's trial right through and she did the Vlad interview and all that other stuff. And then supposedly... Tory called her some kind of name like you cockeyed bitch or some shit when he was getting led away after his request for bail was denied and now he's being shipped off to prison. We're about to talk about the Tory Lane situation, what he got to look forward to, this new mugshot that came out of him and all that other stuff in a minute. So stay tuned. But back to this right here. Moreover, Offset has yet to publicly speak on his situation in general. He ain't giving it no energy. All I see is him and Cardi B turning up. Mr. Petty, however, has yet to address his latest court ruling as well. He has no room to get into any more legal trouble. He was arrested in 2020 for failing to register as a sex offender in California. This summer, Petty was hit with three years of probation and a year of house arrest for that case. Neighbors in his and Nicki Minaj's Hidden Hills Hollywood home neighborhood, they have also reportedly wanted them out of their neighborhood. 
just this past summer due to Mr. Petty's concerning criminal history. So I guess the people are saying we don't want him around because he is a sex offender. You know the sex registry, the sex offenders registry is public information. So you could go look it up and then see who's in your neighborhood that is a registered sex offender. And of course, not discussing the details of Petty's case, just telling you about the sex offenders registry, his name's going to be on it. And of course, Nicki Minaj ain't living in no regular neighborhood. So those people, they they have kind of like the power, I would say, to be like, yo, we don't need this in our neighborhood. Let's try to get these people out of our neighborhood, right? She's a rapper. She makes money from music. She's not highly educated. She is not a lawyer. She is not some business CEO of some Fortune 500 company, some tech company or something like that. She makes music and a lot of it is vulgar. And her husband is a hood ninja. Her husband is a street guy. Her husband is a convicted felon. Why do we have them in our neighborhoods? And that's what, you know, that's what it's all about for them. They want to get them out. The United States State District Court, according to the paperwork, document 84, filed September 20th of 2023, page one. It says, USA versus Kenneth Petty, document number 220CR00108, MWF slash one, petition on probation and supervised release modification. It reads, comes now Natasha Alexander Mingo, chief probation and pretrial service officer of the courts presenting an official report upon the conduct and attitude of Kenneth Petty, who was placed on supervision by the Honorable Michael W. Fitzgerald sitting in the court at Los Angeles, California on the sixth day of July, 2022, who fixed the period of supervision at three years and impose general terms and conditions therefore adopted by the court and also impose special terms and conditions as noted on the attached judgment and commitment orders. So this whole time when Zoo, Mr. Petty, they call him Zoo, right? This whole time when he was out in the streets, where you at, pussy? Where you at? Yeah, we out here for real. We control these blocks. We control these streets. We out here for real. And, and you busy planning a vacation. We busy planning your funeral, pussy. While, while he was doing all that, this man is on three years of friggin' probation, which friggin' started July of 2022. So, I mean, he, he needs a handler. He needs, he needs somebody around him to babysit him. To tell him that you can't be fucking up the church's money like this, homie. Because your wife, her brand, has a lot of value to it. But her association, and you know how this thing goes. A lot of people get canceled based on who they associate with. And some of the things they even just say. Just sharing your opinion on certain things. They end up being demonetized on all platforms. Canceled. All that. So you can't be out here exuding this kind of behavior mr petty respectfully presenting petition for action of court for cause as follows this is the paperwork from the courthouse it says mr petty was recorded on a video making threatening remarks to a specific individual while in the company of someone with a criminal record the recent violation conduct raises concerns over over mr petty's willingness to comply with the court's orders as such, the probation officer believes placement in the location monitoring program will effectively allow for closer monitoring of Mr. Petty's activities, limit his movements, provide a sanction for his non-compliance, and hopefully encourage him to reflect upon and re-evaluate his current status in the community. The supervisor and defense counsel consent to modification and waive a personal appearance before the courts. No personal appearance needed. This goes into action immediately. Lock his ass in the house for 120 days. Praying 
that the court will order Kenneth Petty shall participate for a period of up to 120 days in a home detention program, which may include electronic monitoring, GPS, alcohol monitoring, units or automated identification system, and shall observe all rules of such program as directed by the probation officer. Kenneth Petty shall pay the cost of location monitoring to the contract vendor not to exceed the sum of $12 for each day of participation. So that's $12 times 120 days. The offender shall provide payment and proof of payment as directed by the probation officer. And at the end of it, it says order of the court considered the order this 20th day of September, 2023 order filed and made a part of the records in the above case. And Honorable Michael Fitzgerald, the judge, signed it respectfully. U.S. Probation and Pretrial Services Officer Alan Barahona signed it uh, just September 19, 2023. Listen, man, let me close this video out like this. Whoever a woman chooses to be with, because make no mistake about it, women choose who they want to be with. She chooses who to give herself to, her body to. Right. Um, but men choose who to marry. So a woman is going to have to wait for a man to say, will you marry me in order for her to become a wife? That's the traditional way, unless she gets down on her knees or unless she proposes marriage and he accepts, which it's happening more nowadays, but rarely. So in this particular case, neither here nor there, who a woman chooses as her man and says, I want to love him. I want to give him babies. I want to make a life with him. I want him to be my life partner kind of thing. Whoever that is that she chooses, that person reflects heavily on her character as a person, as who she is. And I'm going to tell you right now, Nikki's situation is pretty soiled up already. I saw a comment online where somebody said, I don't even know why people still believe in Nicki Minaj. I lost all hope in her after she married a sex offender and she tried to pay the victims off in her brother's case. If y'all don't know about her brother's case, go look it up. Okay. It, it involved children and the children got up in court and spoke horrible and horrific details about what Nicki Minaj's brother, who was married to their mom, making him their stepdad, did to them or did to the little girl and the little boy witnessed it. So it's alleged that she tried to pay the family off. And it's alleged that, and I'm using the word alleged and alleged and alleged, and this is why people are making these kinds of comments. So for Mr. Petty, he might want to just lay low so people don't keep bringing up his past. I don't want to discuss his past. I'm leaving it right where it's at. But for some reason, every time you act up, your past resurfaces. And if you want people to forget about that past, you're going to have to chill out. You can't be out here in these streets pulling down your hoodie, talking about you planning people's funerals and all that. Y'all leave your comments in the comment section below, man. Tell me what you think about this one. I'll catch you on the next video. It's Hot Topics TV. I'm out. Peace. Big suit, big suit, big queens outside, nigga.